Welcome, this is uh, Bert Dolman with the Chart Guru. Today is uh, April 19th, and we want to take a look at the uh, very short term outlook uh, for the market and what the indicators might be saying. Uh, here's a chart of the IWM. Uh, M. This is the ETF for the um, iShares Russell 2000 index. These are the small cap stocks, and uh, as you may remember here in uh, March, March 26th, in fact, we were uh, uh, talking about the uh, big uh, downside moves on high volume, that this was uh, probably going to uh, set this up, this uh, upside breakout here as a false breakout, and false breakouts up to the upside, usually followed by sharp declines. And here it certainly was. Now the only question is, is this the uh, end of the decline? Uh, and will the markets now go to new high or not? We don't have quite enough evidence yet, but let's take a look at this. Uh, here we drew an uptrend line between these lows and this low and this low. And here we can see uh, at the low here, uh, this is a candlestick chart. This is called a hammer, and as it usually predicts, at least a short-term rally, and uh, often it's a start of a big rally as well. It means that there was a lot of demand came into the market, and that produced this tail on, on that day's trading. Uh, and as you can see here, that drive the market up to a new high. Uh, currently now, last week, uh, we we saw a similar candlestick chart. Um, this is also a hammer, and. Uh, uh, it's, it meant that a lot of demand was coming in. Now we just have to see, okay, how far will this go? And um, I'm a little skeptical that uh, this will go to a new high. And the reason is this. Here, if we take a look at these declines here, for example, uh, uh, this one is the last October, uh, we saw typical ABC corrections. This is an ABC. And here's again, ABC. Okay, and so we see this. Here's a decline in um, uh, January of this year, A, B, C. Okay, but now we have a totally different pattern. This is a, a pattern of um, a high volume declines, low volume rise, high volume declines, low volume rise. And uh, here we saw a big volume coming into the market. Uh, that is a distribution pattern. This is when the big smart money gets out of positions. They find out that they're way overinvested, too highly leveraged, and they'll sell anything and everything just to get some cash. Uh, we also have another uh, factor here, and as uh, this uh, two exponential uh, moving averages, uh, they've been on a nice buy signal here uh, all the way uh, until uh, January of this year. That's when we got a crossover, and uh, so this is uh, this ends basically a trend that had been in effect for over a year. So that was already a warning signal. That something else was going on. The market was losing momentum. Uh, here they crossed over again for a buy signal, but now they're on a sell signal. This is different than what we saw during these ABC corrections. Uh, so uh, it's a warning signal. We see here uh, the, our indicator is a special stochastic that we use. It's been very good in giving us the direction of the important trend in the market. And it uh, went on a sell signal here at a beautiful time, uh, right there in uh, the middle of March, when we, of course, uh, gave that signal to our subscribers. So just uh, using good market uh, timing and technical analysis can get you can keep you on the right side of the market and of course uh on this decline here uh our uh, clients who got our advice in private portfolios and the smart trader and the wellington letter uh they were very happy that they were uh, safeguarded uh stay tuned uh, we're going to have some more videos but the best way to keep up with what we say is uh, to uh, get a subscription to our services and that's available at domancapital.com uh, thank you very much for being with us today and uh, come back for the next video.